you can go ahead and get yourself a $70 microphone or you can get yourself the $50 version. How's it going everybody? My name is Dylan and welcome to Dylan James Films where we talk about all things technology and we like to go surfing. Today we're going to be talking about the Rode Video Micro 2 and why I think it's the best option for new content creators and experienced professionals. All right, so before discovering the Rode Video Micro, I spent years chasing one after another, looking for more complicated microphones that often came with a hefty price tag, and I thought that more expensive microphones meant better. But better audio quality isn't something that you can purchase. It's really understanding your cameras, understanding your setup, and then dialing everything in. So the Rode Video Micro is great because it's gonna come straight out of box, ready to use. Jumping to the point of the video, yes, I think the Video Micro 2 is a fantastic option. I chose this setup because I didn't wanna mess with wireless audio. I have videos explaining why I think the DJI mic systems are better for running gun stuff where you're just using your iPhone. And then I also use the Rode um, wireless pros to use more of a professional um, setup. I have more videos explaining why, why that, so you can go ahead and like click around, look at my profile, and you can look for those videos. But more importantly, I needed something that was simple and removed any issues that I might have while I'm recording a video. I think the audio quality is plenty good, and at the end of the day, storytelling is what matters most when creating videos. I've been creating videos professionally since 2019, figuring this thing out as I go, just for five years. So after five years, I figured it's time for me to start sharing the tools that I use that helped me become successful. I'm not the best at creating videos for myself or uploading videos regularly, and I'm hoping that that's something that I can do going into the year. I've been told that I'm a hype man, and I think that's what makes me really successful as an independent filmmaker. I'm always looking to help others, and that's what I'm doing here today, to tell you that you can go ahead and get yourself a $70 microphone or you can get yourself the $50 version and you're gonna have a ready to use mic that's just awesome. I just wanted to give you some context that this is not my first time doing this. Even though I haven't uploaded a lot for myself in the last five years, I've been doing it nonstop for other people. So whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, these microphones offer exceptional performance and ease of use at any stage. You can achieve great audio right out of the box and you don't have to worry about any complicated equipment. I honestly swear by this. This is what comes in the box. You also get a really nice little wind muff. So for me, I'm using this in studio. Um, I have a Rode Video Micro on top and that's what you're hearing right now. I have two because I don't ever wanna break down this camera setup. This is my filming station and this one goes out in the field with me in case I need to have some backup audio. Again, I don't use this as my main audio, but you easily could. And taking this off, you could talk right into it and it would sound great as well. The Rode Video Micro 2 creates quality audio in the most simplest form, so there's no batteries, no worries. Just turn your camera on and start recording. It's also nice not having to worry about a boom arm or anything up in your face while you're trying to talk, and you can just talk to the camera and focus on telling your story. There's already enough things to think about when creating content and dealing with a wireless microphone, batteries, or worse, AA or AAA batteries, it just makes things more simple, so that's why I've chosen to use the Video Micro 2. All right, so let's start with the design. This microphone is impressively small, compact, and lightweight. It makes an ideal companion for on-the-go video recording. What's really cool is the Rode Video Micro 2 introduces a new and improved shock mount design. This innovative feature significantly reduces handling noise, ensuring that your audio remains crisp and clear even in the most dynamic shooting environments. It takes leaps forward with its enhanced sensitivity and wider frequency response range. This means that you can capture more detailed and nuanced sound, whether you're recording dialogue, heavy scenes, or capturing ambient sounds in nature. The original Video Micro is no slouch in this department either. They both deliver reliable audio and performance that you can always rely on for everyday use. When it comes to compatibility, both microphones are incredibly user-friendly, requiring no batteries or additional power. That's why I've gone ahead and chosen the Rode Video Micro 2. So which microphone is right for you? If you're on a tight budget and you need a reliable option for basic recording tasks, the Rode Video Micro is an excellent choice. It offers solid performance in a compact package, making it perfect for beginner content creators and vloggers. However, if you're looking to elevate your audio game and take your audio recordings to the next level, the Rode Video Micro 2 is the way to go with its improved audio quality, advanced features, and enhanced handling noise reduction. 
it's a worthy investment for any serious content creator. Ultimately, the Video Micro 2 is a fantastic choice for anyone at any stage in their video making career. They offer professional level performance without the complexity or costs associated with other microphones on the market. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this comparison helpful, be sure to subscribe and help my channel. Road to a thousand subscribers. Can we do it? What should we talk about next? I think we're gonna talk about the new Rode Wireless Pros. So be on the lookout for this video coming up next. I don't have a sign out, so let's go surfing is officially the sign out. Or maybe I'll see you in the lineup. Ooh, I don't know, I gotta think about it. What's the best sign out? And it's really cold in this garage, so sorry if I sound a little weird, but bye. <laughs>